Welcome to Crime Time News. First thing that is popping in the news is an update as it pertains to the butcher Barnet. I am speaking about that man that took away the family, the mother, her name is Kamisha Wright and her four children in Clarendon. Him took them out very, very bad. Now people, this is an update. About 24 hours to 48 hours ago, he went to courts, home circuit courts, and the plea bargain. The DPP's office was represented by a lady named Andrea Swaby. She told the judge that, listen, Mr. Barnett, he's decided to plea bargain five cases of M-U-R-D-E-R for that lady and her four picnic. It is said that the representative from the DPP's office, Mrs. Swaby, told the judge, presiding judge, that Paula Llewellyn, who is head of the DPP, has accepted his plea. Now, people, here are the details of the case and based on what this man said in his confession statement. Pretty much his excuse or his reason is that on one fateful night, he realized that the lady is being disrespectful. Now, people, remember, this man was living in Trelawney with his family. He came and he lived with the cousin in a Clarendon. So pretty much him there catch. Anyway, he claimed that one night he was serving a customer and people. When he says a customer, he means a weed customer. And let me clarify something. In Jamaica, you have a whole lot of weed spot. You have store where sell weed. You have house where sell weed. Everybody and anybody knows the neighborhood weed man once you have the good stuff the goody goody the ickety stickity so anyways not strained from the story he said that on that day when he served a customer she came and she confronted him and she said me not telling her serve no people at the house again him said she grabbed the money all time and and then she fling some water in her face that was a part of his confession statement so people, that is one incident in which he claimed. On a second incident the next night, he said that she told him lock up the place, lock up the house and go in bed. And he told her that he had a car outside, an ex-customer outside. He felt as if he was disrespected. Now people, here's the facts. Based on what residents said, they saw him with this knife. He was sharpening this knife days before that. And he was saying that he might go take with some people. However, the neighbor, them hear him, but they never take him seriously. So people, you know, say, in a Jamaica, people take everything for joke, everything for fun. So anyway, it would come back and haunt this family. He claimed that... On that second incident in which he tell him to lock up and him tell her I say him have a customer outside, a car was outside, a weed customer that is. Him see her reach for something and he thought that she was reaching for a scissors. So therefore him start for juk juk her up. Now people, he claimed that when him start juk juk her up, two of the pitney them come to her assistance for rescue her. Him juke juke them up and bust over to it forget bus, Rete, Lele, and so on and so forth. The B U T C H E R I N G continue until everybody pretty much gone. Now, people, I want you to look at your screen. I am going to show you exactly what happened and I am going to show you the amount of juke juke, the amount of jam jam. The amount of uh, over people and over pitney get them neck bus, get juke up, rate, lele, blue, blah, bling. Look at the screen. Kamisha writes 48 times. 
in the neck, in the chest, abdomen, upon the limb. Kishan Henry Jr., I think that that is the 23 month old. 11 times. Kimanda Smith, 9 times. Joe Jacob, cut cut up, rate. Shara Lee Smith, 22 times. And some scratch. I guess they were some sort of physical altercation. Rafaela Smith, 5 times. Wounds and gaping wounds in the upper neck. So people, some get joke, some get jam, some get them neck bust. Pretty much that is the moral of the story on the screen. Now people, you know that Jamaica and the residents and the family members, everybody a call out for implement whatever process of the DEATH penalty. However, one thing that we realize with the justice system in Jamaica, it have a whole lot of but very little teeth. And even when them have teeth are some rubber teeth, that means uh, no sorts of bite. Now we realize that this DPP accepted the plea bargain for five of the people, them, five cases. However, people, based on what this man is saying, he does not seem very remorseful. It seems as if he might give some sorts of justification, some sorts of reason. However, people, in most of what he is saying, we could tell that he is lying. So therefore, he is showing no sorts of remorse. Now remember, in a plea bargain deal, it is said that you can get up to 50% off. So therefore, it is up to the discretion of the prosecutor, DPP's office, and also mostly the judge. Because the judge does not have to accept. It is up to mostly the discretion of the judge. However, if the DPP agrees with the defense, then they might get a little more leniency. However, people... In your caution statement, if you are deemed to be telling any sorts of lies, then that will change the whole perspective. And people will say that this man is lying. Now we've heard all sorts of story that, listen, he more $15,000 and she asks for the money. He must sell weed. So people, it seems as if the theory that we've been hearing about the weed selling at the house, that is the problem. Now people, you hear the man say, he said that since those two incidents, he realized say, their attitude towards him has changed. Them start preem. People, that is what happened when you are a worthless man, a worthless woman, and a catch a people yard. You live by an eyelash. People are going to disrespect you, especially if you run away from trouble and you come at the people them yard and you nah bring your own weight. You nah pay no bills. You not contributing. You just did it with your too long hand and your long belly. Them are going to always pre you. However, the fact that you are catching and you feel disrespected and because you feel disrespected, you feel as if the only course of action was for you to take away this lady and our four picking them. People, you know, she says something wrong with these worthless new generation of vipers in a Jamaica. Because, people, remember, this is his cousin. This is family. This is B L O O D. And what they say, B L O O D, thicker than water. However, people, it seems as if it does not apply. Because, we see, say, it is mostly. Family a take with family. Family a fight over DEAD left legacy. So people, it means absolutely nothing. It is like a myth. So people, at the end of the day, we see say, this lady and our four pitney are scheduled for their final send-off in the weekend. Saturday or Sunday, I think Sunday. 
and this man plead just before that. However, people, his fate is supposed to be read on September 22nd, I think, 2022. And people, I would hope, we would hope, well, there's no other way, no two ways about it. This man, if he not get the DEATH penalty, which I doubt, I would expect that he is going to get a couple of life sentences without a shadow of a doubt and people, rightfully so. However, we see say, the residents, the family members, they are kind of ticked off. They are not pleased while they want to hear that he was found guilty. They want to see him get the maximum. They don't want to see or hear that there's any possibility of any sorts of leniency being handed out by the prosecution and the judge. However, people, I doubt it. So even if him get 50% of five people lives, we are talking about two and a half life sentence, more than likely, he will be there for the rest of his natural life. Him and Garatna and D-E-A-D behind those prison walls. So people, the moral of the story to all of this is that even though this man gave a caution or a confession statement, even though he plea bargained very early, and even though the prosecution, DPP, Paula Llewellyn and them, said that they agreed to the plea bargain and told the judge. He did not sound remorseful as a matter of fact. Not only did he take away those five persons' life, then he is going to turn around and lie. He is going to claim that as she rushed him, as she instigated, they were being disrespectful to him meaning the mother and the pity them. But people, pre this. If somebody goes to your house and they are disrespecting you, your children are going to feel. Your children are going to see the relationship that exists. And of course, natural instincts is that they are going to take up for their mother, especially when the mother is right. So therefore, you did not have the conscience, the heart, the sense of mind to realize that the lady let you in her house, share her place with you after she knows you use a riffraff. And then you turn around and you pretty much gave her the ultimate, literal STAB in the back, all over the body, all over the neck. The pit of them, bust them short. And then you're going to go into court and lie about it and try to make some sorts of excuse or some sorts of reason, some sorts of justification. And people remember, neighbors saw this man sharp in the knife and saying what he was going to do. Family members saw him with the knife, a cousin. And he was premeditating that he was going to take away these people's life. So therefore, how is it now? You're going to make it seem as if this was a spur of the moment and you felt disrespected and you're disrespected and your instincts kicked in because she pretty much rushed you with her scissors. scissors. People, we should know when we hear BS and people, this is on the top of the BS meter, point blank and period. So anyways, people, like me say, we might share the same views. Our views might be different. However, the difference is in the meds and the point of views. Whatever you hear me say, it is just my views. It is my opinion. Your opinion and views can be respectfully different than mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.